what um I guess just what do you think of Steph, the final, you know, seven minutes of this game? Um, just willing us to victory with his shot making and his penetration. Uh never season amazes me with what he can do with the ball in his hands and that step back to force OT and then the defensive stop on the other end just shows how great of a basketball player he really is. Uh, what are your thoughts on what Jamal Green gave you guys tonight off the bench? Oh man, J. Mike was huge. Without his effort, we don't win that game. I mean, just being able to space the floor and rebound it was huge. Absolutely huge. He earned a game like that. He's been patient all year, so I'm really happy for him. Clay, um, Steve thought that was a complete game from you know t opening tip to to the to the end. And what um, what did it mean to you to see everybody play for for the full you yeah. know 48 minutes like that and energy and defense and big big moments? Well, I mean, we have great respect for Milwaukee. They're a championship team. They've been together for some years now. They know what it's like to play in big games. So this was obviously a huge game for us, you know, considering where we're at in the standings and the season is dwindling down. Um, so we all knew that going in, and uh, we played with just a lot of great connectivity tonight. I thought we were just all on the same page as far as game plan, and then I thought our energy on the bench was great, and we all had one common goal, and that was to win the ball game. And when we do that, it's... It's, uh, it's great. Clay, when, uh, when Steph gets going like that, what are you trying to do on the court? Are you looking to try to free him up, or are you thinking, okay, they're going to send two to him, that's going to leave me open? What's your thought process when he gets going? Uh, probably get out his way, set a screen for him, space the floor, go get a rebound, play some defense, just be myself. You know, if I'm open, shoot it. If I'm not... Reverse it, drive it, cut, uh, just still be a basketball player. And um, he's going to attract much more attention. So you'll have open looks if you just stay patient and ready to shoot. Clay, during the broadcast, they showed Draymond and all of his screens. I know that doesn't show up in the box score, but what does that do for shooters like yourself and, and Steph? And then obviously he played through that ankle that looked pretty bad. Yeah, um, Draymond and Loon are some of the best screen setters I've ever played with. And... Me and Steph and I are so grateful for those two. They get us open. They have been for years now. And uh, not only the great screeners, but they're great playing out the pick and roll. Uh, they're just great after saying the screen. You know, they make the right play. And, um, you know, Draymond's an amazing basketball player. Like, he might not score 30 a night, but he's a winner. He has been at every level. Um, no matter what these jokers on television say or other players around the league, like the hardware and the resume speaks for itself, and we do not have the banners or the success we do without Draymond Green. How much do you enjoy the uh, Trey, Trace Thompson home run today? Oh, it was awesome. I mean, to see that at halftime and see him uh, playing the World Baseball Classic is really special. And uh, he has so many great years ahead of him on the diamond, and I know he's going to have a great season for the Dodgers this year. Uh, hey, Clay. Uh, sorry. I'm a current student at WSU, nice. so uh, go Kooks for that. That's but right. can you talk about how before the game you, you gifted that wheelchair, and then can you talk about that experience and then talk about how community has impacted your life and your career from WSU to now? Well, I mean, going to school in Pullman, you know how tight-knit the community is and uh, you know how special a place that is when you're a Coug. Uh It's really a family atmosphere, and... You know, I've grown up in places that were very populated my whole life. And that, then when I went to Pullman, uh, that small town vibe and the community had a huge impact on me. I still keep in touch with a lot of people from the city and um, just a special place. And uh, I feel the same with being a warrior in the Bay Area. Like our uh, impact goes beyond basketball. And what uh, the Thompson Family Foundation was able to do for that young man today uh, gives me chills. and. I mean, it put everything in perspective before I ran out the tunnel, just how blessed I am to play this game and the impact I can have on the youth and um, how, you know, you never know who's watching. I mean, uh, you know, sometimes it feels routine when you play 82 to 100 games a year, but, you know, 
it's just a special opportunity to be able to inspire people when you play in the NBA, and I'll never take that for granted. Nice.